In Stone v. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, we'll see whether ex-party communications during a federal worker's termination hearing violated an employee's due process rights. Milton Stone worked as a bank examiner at the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, or FDIC. On four different occasions, Stone submitted falsified applications for approved leave, where Stone signed the names of doctors that supposedly excused Stone's leave from work. The FDIC notified Stone by letter that it initiated removal proceedings against Stone because he admitted to submitting falsified requests for leave. In the letter, the FDIC explained that Stone would have the right to review the material that supported his removal. Stone's case was given to a deciding official at the FDIC. The deciding official recommended Stone be dismissed, and the FDIC terminated Stone. Stone appealed his termination to the Merit Systems Protection Board, which assigned Stone's case to an administrative judge. After Stone was terminated, but before the board heard his appeal, Stone requested documents related to his termination from the FDIC. Stone discovered that the deciding official received two ex-party memos from FDIC officials that urged the deciding official to terminate Stone. An ex-party communication occurs when one party communicates with a judge without the other party's knowledge. Stone argued there was a harmful error in his removal proceedings because he didn't have notice and couldn't respond to the ex-party communications. The administrative judge held that there wasn't a harmful error. Stone appealed the administrative judge's decision, arguing that the memos introduced new, highly prejudicial, and unchallenged charges against Stone, which violated his due process rights.